Welcome to part 4.7 of fucking Muppet Party Cruise! It's gonna be that board again! For the fourth time! Are you getting tired of it yet? I am! I'm not happy about it. But we gotta fucking do it. We gotta, we gotta do it as Gonzo now. We gotta fucking do the same board. Do the same shit. We have to get our fucking credits so we can get one more mini game. The one we haven't unlocked yet that I was starting on. So that we can fucking like get the funnel board. So you know we get we gotta fucking like watch me walk around dealing with the AI again. You know I got a two, animal got a two. Nobody's gone the door yet. But you miss piggy, you got two? Your two's way too far away for you to get that. You're gonna get something good. Oh fuck me, we're all going twos. The game's really taking its time now, huh? It wants to just delay everything, even though it's just over 40 minutes. It's like, it's not even as long as the first time. Oh, Kermit gets the 9, though, because Kermit's the big boy. So he, he, gets to, he gets to actually play. Everybody else has to fucking wait for him. He even gets to play again! That's how insulting this is! Oh, it's an auction! And he has more fucking credits than any of us. So of course he's gonna win this bet. Of course he's gonna win it. I can't! Oh wait, I could. Because it's the first one. It's the first auction. They always go very low on the first auction. And then afterwards, they just go super big. You know what's strange? There's some mini games we haven't even seen it that I actually have unlocked, and the game hasn't played them yet. The thing is, we never see those, but um, until like the last part of this fucking let's play. But for now. Hey, Sal, we got company. Okay, so we got gumball drops going on. At this point, I'm not doing any more betting. At this point, I'm just going by my skill. So... Here's the thing. Some of the mini games that I mentioned that I'm not going to be able to do, I will do them. But, I will not do them in any of these boards. For some reason... The game does not like playing some of these mini games that I have yet to play in this Let's Play. You might have seen them on the fucking board. You might have seen them on the thing. You're doing well. well so glad I could inspire. there is one mini game we will never see in any of the boards, and that is the last mini game that is the most expensive, the 30 credit one. Because it's 30 fucking party favors. Like, sure, you can go for that first. If you really want to do that on the first board, where you only get like three fucking party favors to win it every time. Winner! It's not exactly a very good move. But yeah, let's let's say that you want to get the you want to go backwards. You want to get the most expensive and then go downwards so that makes life easier. So, you probably did a thing where you like you gathered a whole fuck ton of credits and you're keeping that on purpose for like the first part of the let's play or whatever. So that you can buy that minigame immediately. Great. What about the other ones? Yeah, it's just... It's just way too high, this one. It's way too high, that minigame. Even if this minigame... This fucking board. By the way, I lost because I didn't do that good. Kermit, you made that thing sing. 
But yeah, even with this board here of getting like up to six every time, it's like, it's still gonna take me a while. Cause let's think about this for a second. If I actually got a perfect number, five, five, six. Okay, that's a perfect number. That is 16. I would still need to play the board again to get the 30. That's 32. Now that's an e That's two perfect plays, by the way, for me to get that to happen. Now and the fact I need to get two more minigames. It's not exactly viable for me to go for that 30 yet. And you will find that it's not viable to get the 30 in any of the fucking boards. Because you've seen how it's going, right? You've seen how it's grown with the amount you need. It started with 3, went to 4, then 5, now 6. Obviously, the next and last one is 7. There is no fucking way I'm going to get goddamn, like, 30 out of 7. Because with the 6-6, six, six, that is fucking 19. That's That still needs two playthroughs to get that one minigame. And these have been up to 20 now. So it's like, the game forces you to play the same boards over and over again to get these minigames now. It's dumb. It's really fucking stupid. I just... Whatever. Green door time. Let's go green door. Let's see what we're getting here. Alright, asteroid belt. There's a lot of space out there in the world, and this is but a tiny quadrant at the power of you need. You blow up the asteroids, pick up the rockets, and fire at the others. Yeah, you can find rockets, and also you fire missiles. You pick up powers by hitting them. So, uh... Yeah, here in Asteroid is worth about 10 to 30, close to blah, blah, blah. You know. And, uh, spread the Asteroid to the power-up weapon, but watch out for incoming missiles. Your colored frame flashes while one of the missiles is coming. Uh, I never bought the missiles, I just shoot. Now, because it's a new minigame, I did go ahead and put in 19 as a precaution. Alright, close to the highest. I have no idea what I'm in for of this. And, like, I went in with, like, maybe if I just, like, shoot when there's asteroids around, that'll be good. Honestly, you're better off just holding the shoot button and just spraying. Now, here's an addition. Outside of, you know, now I can, uh, you know shoot these immediately. The closer they are, the more points you get, right? So I'm thinking, okay, destroy them when they're close. I'm going to make an analogy for you. Is it better to go for a market where you get more money or to go for a market where you can get more things. Well, I think Kermit just proved that. You are the victor. Basically, just made an analogy of Epic Games and Steam. Steam has the most customers, and Epic Games has the most revenue for the developers. I think that just fucking told you what my answer is for there, for you. And that is, you go for the customers. Red to red, green to green, yellow to yellow, blue to blue. Short circuit, here we go. But yeah, you, you go for the numbers because you go for like the biggest score, you're gonna be very under on the asteroid number. You're gonna be like getting less asteroids, just waiting for them to come to you for big numbers compared to just going for the asteroids themselves and just getting the scores right. like constantly. So yeah, I mean, 
just don't fucking bother with getting the big scores in the asteroid one. Just go for the fucking huge amount of asteroids. In this mini game, though, go for big scores because it's like there there isn't a thing where you have to get like a like take down a whole bunch of spots. You know, your only opponents here are your opponents. That's your problem. Not the there's no like. I have to go and get certain spots for this. I mean, yeah, the two time multiplier thing is one thing, and you should always go for that. But the main thing here isn't that. The main thing here is that you just fucking go and you get your shit. Alright? You get your points. Off. Which I do. And because I keep going for the two time multiplier. And I kept making some pretty big points. Obviously, I win. Because in that mini game, it mattered to me to make big spots. All right. It mattered a lot more to make big spots there than it was to just wait for asteroids to come close to me and then shoot them down. In that one. Shooting more asteroids is better than just getting big points. And we saw that. We saw that in some of the mini games, like the fucking uh, Gumball Drop one. That there is some mini games that require big points, some that require a lot of points. Okay? Some mini games require you to get the biggest maximum scores over and over again, while some others require you to just take out a bunch of shit. No matter what scores you get, because the more you get, the better. Compared to the bigger you get, the better. And once you figure out some of these mini games, it's like once you figure out where they're going with this shit, it makes things so much easier for you. Because you know what the game wants from you. And you know how to handle it. And you know how to beat them at that point. That was an interesting delivery that I like. Anyway, let's just go ahead and move around a bit and see what minigame I get next. So far, I have been annihilating all these guys. I mean, Kermit has been a bit of a dick, but he can't beat me. Let's check out the Yellow Hill for a bit. Okay, spin the first spin and spin again or not. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Uh, let's see. 45? Okay. Ooh. Oh. I get two third. I was close. But yeah, that one. That one's an easy little game for credits. If I can time it just right, so I can tell what the timing is there, uh, I can get a whole bunch of credits from that. But that was my first time with that one because, again, yellow doors are useless and two, the minigames are random on what they give you, so some of them can be fairly easy to figure out, some of them can be a bit difficult and luck-based. Uh, for the most part, they're all worthless and you don't need them. So... Yeah, they probably favor. Oh, so she can play again, and she can play again again, because there's another fucking play again spot right there, right fucking next to her, and she got a nine. So Miss Piggy's a bitch, and uh, she's going to make it very apparent that she's a bitch, especially of getting all the freebies around here. So that was two freebies she got. Will she get a big enough number and get that last freebie? The answer will shock you. Not. It's a yes. She's gonna get that blue. So now she has ones all across the board. She is actually close to me. 
she is currently second place, and she hasn't won a single mini game. Uh oh. She just got lucky. Oh, so you can see what Kermit's doing there, can't you? You can see what Kermit's about to fucking do, right? Like, it's not just me, right? That can see what bullshit Kermit is about to pull here. Oh, by the way, my turn. Guess what? I'm getting double. I'm getting another go. Even I get a two, I get another go. So I'm not screwed here. Let's roll again. I can't get a two this time. I can get a four though. No matter what though, I'm going for that blue door. It's tug of war. Okay, well you know about tug of war, you know how it works, you know how easy it is, so I'm not gonna bother questioning this one. You just watch while I uh, open a bottle. Oh, I wish Camilla could be. This is a weird bottle, by the way. 385 milliliters, and it's like a... It's like this... It's like the size of a child's arm. The fuck with this bottle? Oh, by the way, I won. Wow, I won. Who, who could have seen that coming? Me. Anyway. We have animal to go through, so let's go right now. I got a nine. What's gonna do with that nine? Let's go that way. You get a whole bunch of shit, including that- There's a lot of moving again, isn't there? A lot of people are able to move again. Bloody hell. It's stage fright, of course it is. Well, you're about this one, I don't have much else to say about this. I hope you're not too weirded out by the fact that, uh, you know, this being a part 4.7 and last part was part 4.3. Ugh. The worst part is I can tell you right now that part 5 is going to be the same shit. Part 5 will be a, a part 5, then a part 5.3, then a part 5.7. That's how fucked this is. And the thing is, it's already been fucked from the beginning, because the first part is part 0.5. A fucking half part. And it's a whole part. It's a whole fucking board. But with actual co-op players. But it was a one-off fig. And it's just... Ah. Anyway, I won. Burn the shield in the cannon and the boot. And the first year stirred in the gun. Burn the shimber dirt. Burn the stir the giggy. I don't know what he just said. I, I have no fucking clue what the chef just said. He probably might have even insulted Gonzo there. I don't know. All I do know is I got two, so I can only move it like a little bit, and I'm only gonna go back. Just kidding, I'm not playing as animal. He's going back. So they'll waste our time. Looks like I'm guessing pick it to the waste our fucking time. For four. Oh, nope, she's going straight for the blue. Stinky cheese! It's a chance to bond with your inner rat. Alright, well, time for some stinky cheese, eh? <sighs> well, you already know about how stinky cheese works. Even though I'm going for the instructions anyway for some fucking reason. Let's go. 
I probably forgot because it's been so long since you played Stinky Cheese. So you're in that Stinky Cheese right now, you know? You already know about how it works. You know, you get the magnets, you get uh, the biggest of cheese. Washing buckles now. And, and the thing is, this game does work out in the favor of people who wait. All right, Buster, I'm through playing games, and obviously so are you. But does it though? Does it work out that well for people who wait? When you got the AI also going for the stinky cheese? Not really. Because even just going for a small amount is fine. The only benefit here is that it's actually a game that is in the middle of that bullshit. Where both big scores and a lot of this cheese can get you wins every time. And it's not just one side, it's both. It's actually in the middle ground. Nice outfit. Which is so much more than I can say about so many of these fucking mini games. It really is that bad. And I won. You know, I kind of knew this game was up your alley, Gonzo. I did. I think you had a good idea, because it's Gonzo. But yeah, all I had to do was get the magnets, and I could win every time. Because the magnets really do help you so much. As well as the AI. Oh, hey. He didn't go for it, but Kermit did get to move again. Because he's a douche. He's a big old douche. He got a big number, a nine. What is he gonna do now of that nine? I'll tell ya. Red door. Come on in and enjoy it. We're gonna tickle the ivories, everybody. And while we're taking these fucking ivories, I'm gonna take another swig of this drink. Ugh. You know, the way these drinks end up like in whatever container they get, a can, a bottle, or a glass bottle. A plastic bottle, a glass bottle. Like, I always find it to end up doing some, uh, some weird differences, you know? Like, with cans, it tastes, like, more tinny, more kind of... Metalish. Whereas, like with plastic bottles, you and like these fucking glass bottles, like they don't, they both don't give you that taste. They both give you like the pure fucking drink because you don't have this metal sort of like interfering with it. Blending out the difference of the plastic versus the glass because the glass. It's like you can't, you can't do shit with this. Like, all you can do is just drink and hope you can drink the whole fucking thing while holding basically this fucking glass bottle in your hands and hope you don't drop it and make it smash. Whereas, plastic bottle you can squeeze in all and... It, I don't know, plastic bottles just feel nicer to me than glass and they taste better to me than fucking cans also you get more out of it than a can i don't know why i was talking about this shit when i just lost this game yeah i lost the animal animal wins everybody
everybody run! <laughs> oh god. And you know why I lost to you saw it! There were moments where the AI just like gets that big fucking number as soon as it appears, because it just it just chooses to be there in the moment for the AI a lot. Rarely does it appear for you. Unless you get lucky, like really lucky. But the AI, it's more often that they get that shot than you do. That's what I've noticed. Anyway, I can't redo my spots, you can tell, so I can go right through it. And that's fine. Anyway, Animal got a five, and he's just going straight fucking back. But don't worry, he's going for a green. And it's an auction. So I will win this one. I mean, we are battling, obviously. Now, when am I going to learn to fucking wait? I'll tell you, not in this part. But it will begin in the final board. Don't worry. You will get to see how much better the waiting game is for the auctions when we get to the final board. Because I should have been doing that at the very fucking beginning. By wasting my credits, like the way I have for the auctions, it's been a humongous fucking mistake. Also, we're redoing this. You better like Tug of War, because we're redoing it. I do. It's not that fun, but piss easy. Spike wanted me to see something. What is this? So there's a fucking new game around or something? I don't know. Come up here and get your prize, Gonzo. Let's yeah. Watch the big buddy. <laughs> yeah, I won again. Like that fucking mini game is too easy, dude. It's way too easy. Okay, so apparently it's called Project Resistance, and the RE on it is in Resistance is in red, so obviously it's Resident Evil based. Probably Resident Evil 8. Anyway, what could be a DLC for Resident Evil 7? Who cares? I don't really care about Resident Evil. Even though October's coming close, I'm probably going to have to do Resident Evil 2 Remake anyway. Fuck me. Anyway, Blue Door. We're going down the tube. Slippery when wet. <sighs> Let's go, everybody. Slippery when wet. Let's take another drink. In case I haven't figured it out by now, I'm not really a big fan of this mini game. I mean, you can only you know, spend so much time with a minigame in this fucking game before you just want to, like, not even play it anymore. But trust me, the, the game is gonna make me fucking play this so many times it's gonna hurt me. It's already kind of happening since this is the most played minigame we've had so far, I believe. It's... It's pretty bad. It's pretty fucking bad. And of course I won. Of course I won that.
There you go, you got the A. You got that infamous A. Okay, animal time. You got a free. What can he do with that free? Probably nothing. It was nothing. Miss Piggy, what are you gonna do? What can you do? She can get a five. What can she get with that five? Going forward, probably going to a blue door. It never played like this. It's Doom Buggies! It's fucking Dune Buggies, the game that I suck at. Hell yeah. I'm not gonna win this. Even if this played in my fucking favor, I'm not gonna win this round. Because it sucks to drive this thing. It sucks to bounce these balls. The mini game just sucks, and the AI is not fair to deal with. The, A the AI overpowers me in every single way. They can bash me around as much as they want, but I can't do shit to them. They're bullshit. The AI is absolute bullshit. And now you got that gold ball. Which, look, look at that. I was about to get that, and then I got pushed away, and now this fucker's gonna get it. I can't even find it right now. Oh my god, there it is. I'm not getting it. No, I'm not getting it. He got it. And once they get it, it's gone. There's no fucking way I can get it out of their hand. No fucking way. I hate this fucking... I hate this fucking minigame so much. Oh my god, I hate it so much. So, obviously I lose this. Hey look, another one. I wonder how long it will be before I lose this. Well, I actually got it. But even then, like, I'm, I'm still gonna lose. Like, this isn't a case of, like, maybe I have a chance. I didn't have a chance to begin with. See? Oh, it's like I won, didn't it? No, I didn't. Remember, I didn't get the thing. I didn't bid. So Animal won, no matter what. Remember, I'm not- I'm not spending any credits on minigames. So, if, at this point, if I'm at, like, fucking, like, five, ten points above second place, they've won against me, because they have most likely put in 20 fucking points. So yeah, I I couldn't win that one. I still I still lose in that mini game. Let's just control a fucking character. Uh Miss Piggy. What is Animal gonna do here? What what is he gonna do really? He got nine. He's going forward. He's going around. And he's going for a red... No, he's not going for a red door. He's going for a freebie. Have you noticed that they're all going for freebies? They, they just take it because I've been so dominant. Also, hey, look, I got a nine. I got a nine for Miss Piggy. What is she going to do with it? Well, I'll make her go all the way this way. And then down there. And then I'll make her play a red mini game.
Time to get turning. And it's spin, spin ball. ball baby. Fuck me. I was hoping for an easy one. Couldn't have that, could I? So, will I actually win this? Well, I got lucky there. I got the good stuff. But can I manage? Well, not really when the AI just pushes me around like that. You know, they just, they just get in my fucking way like that and keep me stuck a bit, unless they shoot. And then I somehow get stuck under them. And I have to wait for the AI to fire. So yeah. Welcome to the welcome to this mini game. I can't think of a better way to spend my time off. Yeah, this just goes on. Wow. I mean, I'm not doing that bad. It's just that the AI is bullshit. And always seems to do better than me in this pin pinball game. This is but, so cool. I got that spot three times. Will that make the difference? Does going for that spot really matter? It does. Because I went for that three times, that was enough for me to win. Yeah. That one spot. Got me a lot of score. If I didn't go for that spot, I would not have really won. But because I kept going for that top left area, that was a lot of points up there. So, yeah, it, it basically did help me by a mile. What's that smell? Anyway. Now that I've done that, we're now going to move on. Because I now have an additional red, considering, you know, I only have about three green, two red, uh, and five blue, I believe. Blue will end it. I don't really want the blue right now. I want to get some more reds. I want to get some more greens. I don't want this to end yet. Because I want some more fucking favors, so I can buy shit. But don't worry, I get to play again. Never have too many spaces. So let's go. It's a red. I want to get the red. Can you let me get the red? You are going to let me get the red. Let's go. It's chemical imbalance. This one's easy. You've seen it before, I believe. And, you know, all I have to do is just go, you know, right, up, down, left, and then... Then I press X at that point to end it immediately, which fucks over everybody else. I don't realize that until a bit later on. With this fucking minigame appearing again. But, when I do figure that out, it's just like... I literally fuck their days up. Because I always get there quicker than them. So they can't complete theirs, no matter what. Let's see what else is on. They usually only get to halfway by the time I'm done. So, you know, I just press X at that point when I get that last one, and it's just like I'm done. And I beat them every time. As keep going, it keeps getting smaller, so it's like it just gets easier and easier. Well, the AI is just fucking up the last one. So, yeah. I win. Just fucking destroyed. Well, we don't have that much time left, so obviously... It means we're getting the blue, and it's gonna be because of animal. You wanna know why? The game said so. Dinga, dinga. 
Also, the fact he was fucking about it a little bit, he just wanted to get a whole bunch of credits before he, you know, went in. And it's an auction! So I'm battling him on auction. I have 700, and he has 300. I win. I win. Game's over. Time to get our favors and get our bonus favors and get the fuck out of here. So I obviously I have about like 16, right? Yeah. Actually, I might have 17. Yeah, I might have 17. Unless I got the uh, most moves. No, I didn't. That was animal. Yeah, it's 17. Alright. Let's go. Time to buy our fucking minigame. I'm gonna skip the cutscene. Let's go. Skip it. Alright. So the minigame was this. I need about seven. Done. Let's look around if I can put the last 10 favors I have here before we go. And next time begin the final fucking board of the game. We only have three mini games left, by the way. We have one down there, we have that 30, and we have one above me. That's it. And there it is. And I'm gonna put all my credits that I have left in that one. So that's where we're starting. So yeah. Next time, in part 5 of this fucking Let's Play, part 5, not part 4.9 or whatever, part fucking 5, we are going to begin the final board of the fucking game that we have now unlocked. The one of the biggest amount of pipettes we can actually get in the entire game, it's still not about to 20. But, next time, we're doing the Royal Stair, uh... Slater rooms? Whatever. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.